Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today's Monday, January 15th, 2024. And today I'm talking about health injustice in remembrance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. While today is the national holiday in the United States, one in which we honor the life and achievements of one of the most influential civil rights leaders in American history. You know, on March 25th, 1966, almost two years before he was unfortunately assassinated, Dr. King spoke these words in Chicago, Illinois. He said, of all the forms of inequality, injustice in health is the most shocking and is the most inhuman because it often results in physical death. So thinking about this injustice in health, here in 2024, I recognize that health is more than health care, but my focus today is on injustice in health care. Sadly, in one of the most resource rich countries on earth, I'm speaking about the too often lack of access to health care in communities where marginalized people live. I'm speaking about the lack of access to culturally sensitive health care in these marginalized communities that can be based upon language or religion or cultural preferences, sexual orientation or gender. I'm talking about uh, discrimination in health care. I'm talking about health care that's unavailable due to lack of health insurance or even documentation of citizenship. I'm talking about unconscious bias leading to inadequate treatment. All of this are forms of healthcare injustice, and the net result is poor health of individuals and entire communities, and it leads to an increased disease burden among special populations and premature death. Now, addressing these issues is not simple or easy. It's going to involve a multifaceted approach evolving many different sectors, such as government at all levels, policymakers, advocacy organizations, communities, and people themselves. Now, some ways to go about this is, you know, to recognize that health care is a basic human right. We've got to provide health care that is affordable. We have to have affordable health care coverage for everyone. We have to expand health care uh, in these healthcare deserts, be it through mobile sources, telehealth, personalized apps, or brick and mortar facilities. We have to recognize that there is bias, discrimination, and racism in healthcare and work to eliminate it. We have to have increased training of healthcare professionals to promote cross cultural awareness. We have to improve health literacy so people can understand healthcare. We have to improve access of preventive care. We've got to make people understand why they need their screenings, regular checkups and vaccinations and make it easy for them to get it. We have to improve health promotion and make wellness a reality. So those are some of the things that we need to do. I know it's not easy, but that's my reflections today on Dr. King's message all those years ago. And I realize that everybody's not going to agree or even like my message. It's okay. I'll close with another quote from Dr. King who said, whenever you take a stand for truth and justice, you are liable to scorn. So that's my message today on this day of remembrance, this national holiday, remembering the life and the work of Dr. King and his legacy. Take care, folks.